faster, Odie, and angrier. I'm much more impatient than that. I'd be pacing back and forth impatiently, but it's easier to have Odie do it for me. John ordered that pizza almost 12 minutes ago. It's too late for me. I'm famished. Even if it came this minute, I'd be too weak to answer the door. I'll get it. I'll bring in the pizza. I'll bring in the pizza. You bring out the money. Attention, hungry cat. <laughs> you ever feed that cat? No more than 10 times a day. Ah, Vito's Pizza. The best pizza in the world. Something is very wrong here. That was the worst pizza I ever had. It was dry. It was tasteless. Vito, what have you done to me? <gasps> Mama Meanie's Pizza Palace? Yeah, I know it wasn't a Vito's pizza I ordered, but I had a coupon for this place. You don't mind, do you? Uh, okay, I guess you mind a little. Ah, Mr. Arbuckle, it is so good to see you. It is so good to see any customer. Well, business isn't good, Vito? Business is terrible since this new pizza shop opened next door. Look at this monstrosity. Mamma Mia is Pizza Palace Puy. Mamma Mia's Pizza Palace Puy? She's the one who made that awful pizza? They have a coupons and deals and a contest and they've stolen all of my customers away. So, why not sell this dump of yours to me so I can expand my business? Never! Are you? Right, I'm Mama Meanie. Here, have a coupon. Twelve pizzas for the price of one. <gasps> Twelve pizzas? Oh, that's quite a deal. <laughs> not if they're not edible. His pizzas are horrible the way he makes them. Let Vito show you how pizza should be made. The dough is a hand mixed. I tasted myself to make sure it is right. Oh, it's perfect. And then I toss it in my hand. I put on the sauce, lots of it. And then the cheese, even more of it. And now I add on the sausage, <gasps> and the pepperoni, and the onions, and the mushrooms, and the anchovies. <laughs> All right, no anchovies. <sighs> <laughs> That's quaint. But would you follow me, please? Let me show you how we do it now, the modern, cost-effective way. It's so much better to do it by machine. The Pizza Grand 7000, capable of outputting 10 pizzas a minute. That thing makes pizzas? Pizza by machine? That is it human. It is vulgar. It is ridiculous. Pizza completed. There you are, piping out pizza. That is the way to make pizza. I'll try a slice. Uh, Garfield, do you want one? <sighs> no way. I've tried Mama Meanie's alleged pizza. Oh! Mm. <laughs> I'd like a pizza with everything, please. Allow me to show you how it works. Yes, sir, Mama Meanie. One pizza with everything. Hey! Do I look like a ball of dough? No, don't answer that. Help! Ouch! Hey! Watch it! Oh, that... This pizza tastes a lot like cardboard. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't. My all meat special tastes like cardboard. This one tastes like styrofoam. Cotton, pepperoni, onions, peppers, anchovies. Hey, no anchovies. Pineapple. Uh, yeah, fine. And five, four, three, two. Pizza completed. Here you go, pal. When I said I wanted everything on my pizza, I didn't mean a pussycat! Hey, you're better off with me than one of those guys rotten pizzas. I'm sorry, Mama Meanie. I will never order from you again. But what if I offer you discounts? Discounts? And contests with big cash prizes. 
big cash prizes? Yes, yes! You see? <laughs> My promotions will trump your pizza every time, which is why you'll sell your business to me so I can tear it down and expand. Vito's Pizza, I'm sorry, we are closing down and... Yes, this is Eddie Gorman, the world-famous TV food critic. I'm sure you've heard of me or seen me. <laughs> I've decided to try your pizza, and if I like it, well, I will recommend it to the millions of people who watch my reviews on television. Recommend my pizzas to millions? That's right, millions! So have a large pepperoni to my home, 747 Waffle Street, in 30 minutes or else, bye bye this is my chance! Eddie Gourmand is going to review my pizza! Eddie Gourmand? But he has a huge following, and what's worse, he has good taste! Out of my way, Mama! After Eddie Gourmand tells the world about my pizza, crowds will flock to my store! Well, we'll just have to make sure that doesn't happen. But Vito, I don't know anything about delivering pizzas. My truck is in the working, and the pizzas have to be at this address in... 12 minutes! Hurry! Hey, wait for the star of the show. Forget them, we have to stop that pizza from being delivered. Mamma mia! Mamma mia is trying to stop the delivery. I cannot let that happen. If I don't get to 747 Waffle Street, there will be no more Vito's Pizza! Papa! <laughs> I've never heard of Waffle Street. You'll have to find it on the map. Which will be kind of hard to do since this is a map of Portugal. <laughs> He's trying to run us off the road! He's trying to stop us from delivering Vito's pizza! Sure looks that way. Okay, pal. Let me have that pizza. Uh, what pizza? Do I have a pizza? You've got just three seconds to hand over that pizza, fella. Well, this guy plays rough. I better do something. I may need ammunition. Listen, maybe we could forget all this pizza stuff and send out for Chinese food. <laughs> oh, Mama, looks like you have a pizza delivery truck to go. Oh. Air truck! Onward, we have pizza to deliver. Don't let him get away! Uh, they're right behind us! These are Mama Meanie's pizzas. Here's the only thing they're good for. They make great frisbees. Look out! You're steering crazy! I can't see. There's rancid pepperoni all over the windshield. Stop us now! It's no use! We have one minute to get the pizza to 747 Waffle Street! Not so. This is 747 Waffle Street. We're here! Quick, give me the pizza! Wait, that's not... Just in time! Well, it's about time. Ten more seconds and I'd give you a bad review. <laughs> Here, taste. You will love. <laughs> Pip! Uh, why, this is the worst pizza I've ever eaten. My pizza. The worst. Here, have a real Vito's pizza. Mama Meanie's Pizza Palace. This isn't Vito Pizza. 
Mmm. Yes, this is Vito's pizza. Mmm. Oh, this is the best pizza I've ever eaten. <laughs> Thank you, cat. I think you deserve some, too. I thought you'd never offer. So, for the best pizza on this entire Plano Mundo Mundo, go to Vito's. And if you want the worst pizza on this planet, well, try Mama Meanie's. It stinks. <laughs> I love the Eddie Goodman. Every time they rerun that review, I get another hundred orders. So I see. <sighs> Maybe I can retool the pizza making machine to make steel belted radial tires. They taste about the same. I am so grateful for all your help, all of you. From now on, as much pizza as you want. You are Vito's guests. All the free pizza we want? Ow. Will he ever stop? Oh, sure. He's bound to hit anchovies eventually. I shall bring my creation to life. Soon I shall have a tuna salad sandwich on rye with a side of slaw. <laughs> Back in a second, Papo. The power of the lightning cursing through the body will make it happen. <laughs> Today's Zodi's birthday. John's making cake so we can surprise him. And I'm going into the kitchen to see how things are going. Oh, and also because I want a tuna salad sandwich on rye with a side of slaw. Here's the frosting I'll need later. And I have my cake decorators. Now, if you're all ready, we'll start, okay? Now, to make our cake yummy and fluffy, add in a whole cup of baking soda. One whole cup of baking soda, mm -hmm. And three dashes of vanilla. Three dashes of vanilla. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Half a cup of sugar. Half a cup of... Oh, no. I'm out of sugar. I forgot to bring it in from the car. Garfield, quick. You keep adding the ingredients like he says while I run out to the car. <laughs> no. The next thing we need to add is a cup of flour. John never makes his cakes big enough. I'll put in a whole bag. <laughs> and two sticks of yeast. Twelve sticks of yeast. Half a cup of milk. All the milk. I must add just a few things to my monster to bring it to life. <laughs> <laughs> Add in a few pieces of chocolate. All the chocolate we have in the house. <laughs> Here I come, Garfield. Thanks, Garfield. I can take over. Good. Cooking isn't as much fun as eating. Now, let's see. Where am I in this recipe? Two cups of vinegar. Two cups of vinegar? Well, he must know what he's doing. Sodium carbonate and sulfur. Sodium carbonate and sulfur? Where am I going to get... Oh, wait, my old chemistry set. 
Oh, I don't be scared, Pupster. It's just a monster movie. <laughs> I can't eat my sandwich with a dog on my face. Add in the ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride? This is the oddest cake recipe. And now, it is time to put the batter in a pan and place it in the oven. I hope Odie likes his birthday cake. And now, the power of the lightning will bring life to my creation. <laughs> Even now, the power of the lightning is working. Calm down, Odie. It's just a storm. There's nothing to worry about. Odie, you're acting like you're in that silly monster movie. Creation is beginning to grow. It is coming to life. Mm. I'll just have a small piece, about the size of Portugal. Uh oh, lights are out. But I can find my way to food in the dark. Hey, where's the cake? Do you still owe his birthday cake? That's my job. Admit it, you took Odie's cake. Well, it didn't just get up and walk out. Huh? It's amazing. That's astonishing. It is, however, an excellent size for dessert. Hey, leave me alone. What did I ever do to you except eat a million of your relatives? Stay away from me. All right, you asked for it. Garfield? Take this and this. Hey, that's a good looking cake. Garfield? But it's still a monster. Are you trying to eat the cake I made? Actually, it's the other way around. It's, 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 it's. Ow. Yeah, it's one of those. Follow the pussy cat. I didn't, uh, I mean, but I, I did, but I, I didn't, well, that is to say, oh, what's the use? Oh, oh Harvey, you didn't forget my birthday. You got me a cake. I did? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh! I did everything the guy on the TV cooking show said. <laughs> then maybe he'll know what to do.
And we'll be back to see how our yummy cake turned out right after this commercial. And we're out. Back on the air in 30 seconds. Oh, Mr. Hotchkiss, how are you enjoying the show today? Uh, the show's boring. Who wants to watch people cook? <sighs> but I'm trying to make it interesting. Yesterday I made veal scallopini. It was wonderful. Veal scallopini is boring too. That's why I'm canceling your program. <laughs> Oh, please don't cancel me, Mr. Hoskins, please. Cooking is my life. After you finish today's show, take your spatula and get out. Back from commercial in 10 seconds, Eddie. <laughs> Garfield, Odie. <laughs> uh, <whoop. laughs> <laughs> Now, people, let's go to the oven and see how our, our cake turned out. <laughs> My studio! <laughs> I knew I put in too much baking soda. <gasps> somebody has to stop it! And I'm afraid that somebody's gonna be me. It will be pretty. But I'm gonna make the supreme sacrifice. I'm gonna eat it. Hey, did I get about 500 gallons of ice cream to go with this? Stop! I was just kidding about eating you. I'm on a low cake diet. Oh. Oh. Huh? This is exciting! It's just what your show needed, Eddie. I'm renewing you for another season. Uh, oh, thank you. Hey, bakery boy, look at me for a second. Hold this. I think I'd better get off this antenna in a hurry. <laughs> uh -huh. seen the last of that awful monster. Nope. Uh, I'd say for about the next 10 minutes, it's going to be raining cupcakes. Happy birthday, boy. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> 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 
Don't miss the new Sunday buffet at Vito's. Best pizza in the whole universe. Woo, sounds good. <laughs> Must be that brand new waffle machine I ordered last week on the shopping channel. Yeah, but what the... Huh? Where's my waffle machine? <sighs> they must have mixed up orders. Now I'm officially miffed. Telepathic helmet. World's first telepathic gadget that allows you to read other people's minds. Batteries included, made in China, blah, 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 blah. Bogus, fake, phony, unsightly. Hey. What did... Well, I might as well give it a try. Hmm, let's see. Flick the power switch to on, then find someone and use the green knob to tune into their most inner thoughts. Huh? <laughs> Maybe I need to crank up the volume a bit. Ugh. Knew it. This stuff doesn't work. Just like the silly x-ray glasses they sell in comic books. Need cup of coffee now. Huh? Whoa. Who would have thought that? This stupid helmet actually works. <laughs> oh, I should have known better than to use Odie to set the volume. That dog is totally brainless. Hiya! Here's your favorite freshly baked morning lasagna. <laughs> uh, uh, I hope he won't notice I cooked him some frozen lasagna, huh? Did you really think you could get away with this? Police. Uh, I can explain. The grocer was out of cheese. That cat is way too smart. Lucky he doesn't know about the carrot cake I hid behind the milk carton and the... Meow! Stop treating me like a baby. I can cross the street by myself. I'm five years old. Oh! <laughs> he never looks at me. I'm so in love with her. <laughs> I'm the cutest cat in the whole wide world. Do -do 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 -do. La -la -do -do -do. I'd know that thought from anywhere. Hi, Nermo. <gasps> that ice cream sure looks yummy. Do you mind if I have a tiny lick? Actually, I would. I've been selected as one of the finalists in the cutest cat pageant, and I don't want to catch anyone's germs before the final judging, especially yours. If Garfield doesn't notice I'm wearing eyeliner, maybe the judges won't know either. Hey, Nermal, those contests usually have a rule against makeup. It would be a real shame if the judges found out you were wearing eyeliner. <gasps> how, how did you know about the eyeliner? I didn't tell anyone. <laughs> oh. And we doubt we'll find it on Earth. This planet is way too primitive. We must report to Emperor Calizone at once. Meet me in the alley and make sure no one follows you. Affirmative. Hmm. I have no idea what they're up to, but I'd better keep an eye on them. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Holy manicotti! They're aliens posing as humans! This better be good. I was only halfway through the Sunday comics. Our lifelong quest across the galaxies hasn't been in vain, my master. May have found it on a small planet they call Earth. Vito's Restaurant. Best pizza in the whole universe. Go now and investigate further. And if indeed this pizza is the best in the universe, we shall invade Earth 
and force Earthlings to cook millions of pizzas for our own planet. <laughs> yes, sure, my stuff is high us. Wow, the fate of our planet and our pizza is on my shoulders. I better go warn Vito. Who knows? Maybe I can get a free lunch out of it. You think you are going, Garfield? Vito, you have to let me in. Some nasty aliens are on their way, and they're after your pizza. What's the matter? You can't read the new sign on the door. Okay. All you can eat for six ninety nine does not apply to orange cats whose names begin with G. Hardy har har. Very funny. Now you gotta excuse me. I got some customers. Oh, good evening. Please come in. Oh, we're looking for the best pizza in the universe. <laughs> and you come to the right place. You come this way. So, what kind of pizza do you like? Oh, <laughs> all of them. Oh, you must be really hungry, no? Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> What? You like? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, everything except this. Oh, you don't like the anchovy. These things are highly toxic uh, to our kind. I make the pizza without anchovies. <gasps> they don't like anchovies? No, no, and no. Oh, but we haven't tried the Hawaiian and Vito's special. Look, lady, I tell you for the thousandth time, it's already 20 minutes past the closing time. You go now. This human is annoying me. Can I eat him now? Don't. His pizza really is the best in the universe. Let's report to Emperor Calzone at once. I hate sci-fi. Aliens or no, I don't make any more pizza. Where is my pizza? pizza? Let me handle this, my Bicephalus Highness. Greetings, Earthling. The superior and unique taste of your pizza is legendary across the universe. Emperor Calzone himself has traveled across the whole galaxy just to give it a try. Really? If he likes your pizza, he'll want to export it across the Milky Way. We're talking major interstellar distribution here. Of course! You give me 15 minutes, and I'll bake him the best pizza in the whole universe! <laughs> what are you doing here? Vito, you can't cook for them. They want to take over the Earth. Why you try to wreck Vino's masterpiece? Is this going to be my best? Think of the free publicity if Emperor Calzone, he like my pizza. <laughs> if only he could understand the aliens like I do. Of course. Why didn't I think of this earlier? <laughs> hey, what do you think you are doing? Those Earthlings are so gullible. <laughs> when are we taking over their unsightly planet? As soon as Emperor Calzone has tasted their pizza. Now I see. We gotta do something. I second that. Anchovy, of course. We're gonna cook them a pizza and they'll never forget. <laughs> Ecola! Mm, the 
Mommy. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, he, he is, uh, he is my helper. <laughs> Treason! You, you tried, tried to, to poison your, your emperor! emperor. Uh, but, but, your bicephal highness, uh, we, I, I am sending both of you to work in my uranium mines on the dark side of Valdebaran. I'm canceling the Earth invasion. We'll come back in a few thousand years to see if the Earthlings have improved on their cooking. This is the worst pizza in the whole universe! <laughs> Okay, I guess I owe you that much. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you're still hungry, cat. Bring it on. <laughs> Don't come back until you learn to stop waking me up. Morning, Garfield. Morning, Squeak. Whoever invented the alarm clock should be dragged into the street and beaten. Hi again, Garfield. Hi again, Squeak. Nah, that's too good for him. Instead, they should make him sleep with an alarm clock nearby. Hi one more time, Garfield. Hi one more time, Squeak. I'm getting an awful lot of squeak this morning. I'll figure out what's going on after breakfast. Uh, make that after lunch. seem to have a mouse convention in progress. Oh well, it's not my problem. <laughs> this is my problem. Squeak! You squeak? <clears throat> Look at what's in my dish. There's nothing in your dish. My point exactly. Oh, please, Garfield, old pal, old friend, please be understanding. You ate my breakfast. All these mice, my cousins and uncles and nephews, they had no place else to go. <laughs> they all lived in that big house down the block that just got torn down. You ate my breakfast. I couldn't just turn them away. I couldn't just send them out into the cold, cruel snow. It's 92 degrees outside, and you still ate my breakfast. Look, Garfield, if you let us stay, we'll behave. We can help out, do things for you, <laughs> be your servants. Servants? Servants would be nice. From now on, 
I'd like my grapes peeled. Peeled? <laughs> peeled. And uh, take out the seeds? The uh, seeds? Oh. Ah, this is the life. But I don't think I could take any more than, oh, say about 20, 30 years of it. <laughs> or maybe 20 or 30 seconds. Quick, everyone, hide. Nimsky. Garfield, <gasps> we're back. <sighs> Unfortunately. What's the matter? If John finds out the house is full of mice, he'll expect me to. Oh, got it. Oh, <gasps> there you are, Garfield. Looks like everything's been peaceful while we were away. Yeah, sure looks that way. Hey, have that thing sanitized for my protection. Huh? When I'm away, I always feel secure knowing you are watching the house, Garfield. I feel good when you're away, too. I know there won't be any intruders or accidents or mice, especially mice. No, nope. you're not smelling a mouse. There isn't a mouse within 20 miles of here. Get your nose fixed. All that walking around Odie and I did, I just kept thinking how good it would be to get home and just to relax in my home here, knowing it's free from mice. Because as you know, there's nothing that bothers me more than mice in my house. First, something to eat. It was rough under there. I was just going to... Oh. Maybe later we'll order in from Lasagna Palace Whoa. and then... Garfield? Is that a mouse? Mouse? What mouse? In your hand. That is a mouse. Eh? What, this? Oh, make like you're a toy. Oh no, this is a happy, fun kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Oh, it's just a kitty toy thingy, Mabob. Squeak, squeak. Well, I guess it's cute. I need to get something to eat. <laughs> uh oh. God <laughs> felt that we should hide. Oh. <gasps> Garfield, did you eat all my crackers? Oh, we better get out of here. What are you going to do about this? <laughs> I have mice in my cupboard! <laughs> I have mice in my silverware drawer. <laughs> I even have mice in my sink! Uh, do you mind? I'm taking a bath here. Garfield! Oh my. <laughs> mice everywhere. How did that happen? I had no idea. Well, I have to go water my ferns. No, you don't. Come with me. I saw this website a few weeks ago and bookmarked it. It's for a service called Rat Tater Pest. Rat Tater Pest? Pay attention. Uh, couldn't we go to one of those websites where you can order pizza delivered? Mouse problem in your house? Then why not call Rat Tater Pest? Our trained specialists will rush to your home where they will stop at nothing. <laughs> the mouse or rat hasn't lived who can defy the might of Rat Tater Pest. <laughs> they can run, they can hide like the rodents they are, but they can never get away! <laughs> Rat Tater Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. I'm not going to click. Now. Because they're expensive and getting rid of mice is your job. I mean, you are the cat around here. Yeah. You are going to get rid of these mice. Every last one of them. Uh. <laughs> I'm going out for a while. Come on, Odie. If there's a single mouse here when I get back, I'm calling in Rat Tater Pest. 
and I'm deducting the cost of them from my cat food budget. You won't see lasagna in this house for years. For years? The barbarian. Why doesn't he just cut off my oxygen? <laughs> Guys, you gotta leave here. Guys, guys, yoo-hoo! Calling all mice, calling all mice. Squeak! Hey, now that once his name is gone, we have the house to ourselves. No, 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 you gotta leave. All of you, right this minute, if not sooner. No way, this is our new home. <laughs> <laughs> you think we're gonna run from that? Other cats scare mice. Other cats eat mice. You gonna start eating mice, Garfield? <sighs> the very idea of it. Then it looks like we're here to stay. It's no use. It's not in my blood. What are we gonna do? I'll lose my lasagna for at least a year. John will call that horrible rat tater pest. Oh, that service thing on the internet, that terrible rat tater pest. I know. Come on, Squeak. I have to show you something. Hey, I was making a sandwich. Later, this is more important. Rattator Pest, a mouse's worst nightmare. Click here to order our service. This is awful. Garfield, you wouldn't. You're right, I wouldn't. But John would and will, unless. Unless what? Unless you go along with my plan. Anything, anything. Get all the mice together. We're gonna have to rehearse before John returns. Garfield, we're back! Are the mice gone yet? Okay, I guess the mice aren't gone yet. That's it! I'm calling Rat Tater Pest! You handled that so well. Well, naturally. I feel like you deserve a reward, but I have no idea what it should be. Oh, Luigi's Lasagna Palace we deliver. Good idea, Garfield. I'll call and have them deliver hot lasagna. Hey, you do that again and you'll wind up in the bag with them. Garfield! Lasagna's here! Garfield! Hurry, everyone in. Thanks for everything, Garfield. Don't mention it. I hope you're happy living at Luigi's. How could we not be? All the lasagna we can eat. See ya! <laughs> All the lasagna they can eat. Garfield! Lasagna! lasagna. Hmm, funny. That usually gets him here in under three seconds. Oh, Luigi! Luigi, where are you? Oh, there you are! Luigi, you have to do something! You have to call an exterminator to get rid of this mice! Never mind the mice! I need an exterminator to get rid of him! <laughs> I think I'm gonna like it here. I was just indulging in one of my favorite <laughs> pastimes, uh, sleeping. Which reminds me, 
We get a lot of letters here asking me to name my 10 favorite things in the whole world to do. Well, here they are in no particular order. May I have the screen, please? Number one, sleeping. Number two, eating. Number three, sleeping and dreaming about eating. Number four, and this one's a tricky one, eating while sleeping. Number five, sleeping on my other side. Number six, mailing normal to Abu Dhabi. Here, uh, notice I did not mark it fragile. Number seven, eight, and nine are all more eating. Which brings us to number 10. Number 10, my favorite thing in the whole world to do, and amazingly, it involves neither eating nor sleeping. It's watching Odie being tormented by squirrels. I love it. I shall now demonstrate. Watch. This is going to be your favorite thing in the whole world, trust me. This is great. <laughs> oh, you <the> squirrel. <laughs> you can come out now. The squirrels are gone. You earned that bone, Odie. On behalf of myself and the audience, thank you for giving us such a good time. Odious squirrels, you just can't get enough of them. <laughs> Fine job, everyone. <laughs> that must be the stupidest dog in the history of stupid dogs. <laughs> that dog has the brain size of a walnut. <laughs> More like a cashew. <laughs> And now, we're going to show you something you've never seen before in your whole life. I've seen this. This just in. Today, a man in Sweden set a new hippopotamus biting record when he successfully bit one hippopotamus. Tied for second place is everyone else in the entire world. <sighs> Boring. 637 channels and nothing to watch. <sighs> if only my favorite thing in the world was happening right now. Hey, I know that bark. That's Odie's I'm chasing squirrels and I'm about to make a fool of myself bark. Yes, yes. <laughs> Quick, everyone, out the back way. It's Odie time. <laughs>
Scoring at home. That's OD1, squirrels 783. I can't watch this. It's too horrible. Yeah, he's a goner. Poor devil. Such a fine, brave squirrel. There's nothing we can do for him. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Oatster. The bushy tailed one here is just in shock. He'll wake up any minute now. Just give him time. Hey, what are you doing? Nah, we don't want that in the house. John doesn't like having unconscious squirrels in the living room. I don't want to have anything to do with this. a squirrel before. Is this a common event? Oh, no. This is most unusual. As a matter of fact, this is a first. No dog in history has ever actually caught a squirrel. This is a tragedy. I see. So would you say that the future of squirrels as a species is in jeopardy? Oh, yes. Definitely, definitely. It looks like we are at the end of an era and that we will all have to move to dog-free territories. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have some packing to do. Take me with you! I don't want to move. I like it here. Yeah, maybe we could talk to the dog, make peace with him. After all the rotten things we've done to him, don't be foolish. He must hate our guts. We can try. What do we got to lose? <laughs> 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 oh, no! He's tasting me! He's gonna eat me! <laughs> what? You wanna shake paws with me? Yeah, yeah. After all the crummy things we've done to you? <laughs> <laughs> that dog won't want to make peace with us. We have to try. What if he tries to eat us? No telling what he's done to our friend. He's... <laughs> Quick, while he's away, let's get you out of here. Make a run for it. Hey, I'm playing with my new friend. Your new friend? But he's a... a, a dog. What can I say? We had him all wrong. Him and probably all dogs. <laughs> Good boy. Am I a schizophrenic? Of course not. And neither am I. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. And neither of you is worth watching. Oh, what to watch, what to watch. Could it be? Is it possible? It sounds like Odie's chasing squirrels again. The best buy for your entertainment dollar. We are forever your humble servants, oh wise one. Odie, wise? What color is the sky in your world, squirrels? Odie's idea of an intellectual pursuit is chasing his tail for an hour. How dare you insult our friend? Are we gonna let him talk like that about Odie? Apologize. I will not. Okay, brothers. Get him! Hey, get off me! What do I look like, a bag of almonds? Stop! 
Stop! No! Hey! Oh, no! Well, looks like my favorite show's been canceled. No more Odie chasing squirrels. But when you get bad news, that's the time to put on a happy face. <laughs> And if you don't, sometimes someone will put one on for you. <laughs>